Hey guys, Fans of Zeton ATT here with another video. Today is going to be a quick little video on comparison or comparing both the Ultraman Tiga 3 form, like Sky type, Power type set, along with a Final Odyssey um, set. And I'm going to tell you which one is worth it or not, or which set is worth and which set is not. So, first, let's start off with the um, Final Odyssey because I reviewed that one first. And um, I'm not sure if my Dirk Tiga like, aged a lot because of the darker bronze color. I'm not sure this is the exact color he was when I got it back in the day. But um, he has like dark silver, like gunmetal silver on the chest compared to bronzy dark silver, bronze? I don't know. But I'm not sure this is just my copy, but this is what it looks like with my Dark Tiga figure. Um, let me know, let me know what your start. Let me know what your Dark Tiga figure looked like in the comments below, please. And if I should get a new one. So yeah, there's a comparison there. Um, same comparison for the other Dark Odyssey figures. Um, he's a dark bronze. I mean, let's just do it real quick. He has a more of a darker black color on him. Let me tell you that. And he fell. Really hate it when that happens. Alright. And uh, I already compared the multi type with the others um, on that review. So, um, yeah. Um, from what I reviewed so far, um, which set is more worth it? Um, either this set or this set. Well, not these two figures. These two are from the Ultra Hero series. The Spark Dolls back in the day. But, um,. I'm not sure which set is worth it because this set, I could say this one's more worth it because these are the forms we see a lot in the series. And these forms, I'm pretty sure they only appeared once, but um, I'm not sure if they're actually worth it though. Um, I gotta say, in my opinion, I feel like both sets are worth it if you want to complete the entire Ultraman Tiga like, forms and like legacy and stuff like that. Because these are the forms that was like, you know, important to Tiga. And these are the forms that what like you know that was seen in the series and movie. Although if you wanna like if you wanna pick only one set, I would say go for this one because this one is like the main like series set because you know we see them a lot compared to this set which we only see at once. I could be wrong, but um yeah, I feel like this set is more worth than this set. Um just I feel like both of these sets are worth it, but if you had to choose one set, I would go with that in my opinion. I really like these figures, um, they're really nice, um, it's just that some of my, um, my copy is that some of them have like little paint scratches, paint bleeds and stuff like that, but these are just my copies, it, they can like be different by your copy or when you get one of these. So uh, if you're wondering where can you get these, um, I got these um, the, the these two sets on Mandrake, check Mandrake or check any other site that has like, um, you know. Ultraman stuff for a good price and good shipping costs. Although um, I I will get this for a better shipping price because the shipping price raised up because of this set. Because you know if you see it from my review, the plastic is like too much. All because the figure is like raising his arm. Therefore they have to like mix space in the plastic a bit. But yeah. Anyways, guys. So um, let's do a little comparison real quick between the power type and the other power. Like you know. Red, red, purple, purple, and stuff like that. Still a little comparison, real quick. The dark one is a bit. S no, they're the same size. I think the dark one is a bit taller. I can't really tell if they're taller or not. So yeah, that's a comparison there. Let's move on to Sky Type. Hopefully I don't knock these figures down. I feel like the, the, the dark ones are a repaint of the, um, the dark one. Therefore it's like a bit like, you know, menacing looking and taller I think. I can't tell to be honest. I will get the Ultraman Trigger um, 
like you know dark skin and stuff like that or truth like trigger truth it's been a while since i've seen the series i think it's the name of it trigger truth last thing to compare is uh kind of nice to have these two fighting like as, as if this is a good Tiga and this is dark Tiga like you know kind of like Ultraman Trigger versus Dark Trigger kind of like that if you want to have these two fighting each other that will be nice pretty sure these two are the exact same mold and different paint I'm not sure of course you can't compare well I'm gonna do a why not because you know these two are like from the old spark old days he's too aged you know it's been a while so yeah <laughs> ah damn that's a lot of figures now let's just put them all neatly together standing like you know in the middle so on And now look at that, Jesus, damn. Look at that. Now, I gotta say, when you have all these figures together, it looks really nice to see all of them together, all in one big pile. Look at that. Actually, I changed my mind. These two sets are worth it because they do make your shelf or your Tika collection a bit more awesomer. Very awesome. Yeah. Really good in my opinion. So yeah. Anyways guys, um yeah, these sets are worth it. They're really worth it if you're a huge Tiga fan, if you're a huge Ultraman fan, etc etc. Or if you wanna get some new figures of Ultraman Tiga, yeah, I guess I go for this pack. Now um if you had to choose like one pack again, pick like this one, because you know these are like the main ones. But if you wanna be a huge collector of like Ultraman Tiga like legacy, like you know, stuff like that, I say go with these two packs. Anyways guys, um, yeah, hope you guys like this little comparison video that I made, and hope you guys like this video, like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you don't miss a video, be sure to follow me on Twitter and Instagram as well, all that will be linked down below, and yeah guys, hope you guys have a nice day, and I'll see you all in the next video, bye guys, and um, I'll try to get some reviews done so far, like, get back to making toy reviews, because I got a lot of things to review, I may review the Bandai Chinese um, Ultra Mantiga Spark Lens, um, you know, sparklands that included a figure and a card. So yeah, see you guys later.